Hi guys, it's Tammy with Pretty Presets and I'm making a quick video today um, talking about the lens correction panel in Lightroom and mainly the manual area of that. Uh, we've talked about um, enable profile correction um, and all these other things in here other days, but today I'm going to work here in manual. And a lot of people sort of stay out of this section as well as myself for a long time. I didn't really understand what any of these things did, but once I did learn them, I have used them a ton. So basically, it's sort of the, it's part of the crop tool. Um, when you go to crop something, depending on how you were standing, um, sometimes the bottom of the photo or the top of the photo or the right or the left is further or closer to you than the other side. Um, sometimes, you know, we're not aware when we're actually taking the photo, we're just trying to get the shot and you tilt your camera forward or backwards or you couldn't really stand where you wanted to stand so you couldn't center yourself in front of the photo. Um, and that is actually what happened here in this photo. There's a wall, I know it's hard to see, but there's a wall behind me that prevented me from standing um, centered to where they are. So if you see, if I just turn on the normal crop tool, you can see I'm a lot closer over here than I am over here. The left side of my photo is further away from me. And, and that's fine, you know, if you did that artistically, but sometimes you don't really want it to look like that. So that's where this really comes in handy. So what I'm gonna start with is, um, the distortion is not something I'm gonna change. I can just show you the distortion, sort of can give it that fish eye effect. It can bring the center of the photo closer to you or it can take it back further away from you. Um, and that's not something I want to do here. You could definitely do that if you were going for, maybe if you had a picture of the kids like swinging towards you and you wanted to increase that effect of them coming at the camera, you could um, adjust the distortion, but that's not something I'm going to do here. And if you ever mess with any of these and then you don't like it, you can just double click and it takes it back to zero. Okay, so something I am going to adjust is um, the vertical right here. And all of these are generally really small adjustments. You're not ever really going to have it all the way one direction or the other. It's going to be small. So, and you want to pay attention to the lines here. Um, I think I only want to go to about a one. And what I'm paying attention to when I do the vertical is this wall right here as a straight line. I know that wall is fairly straight. I mean, it's a wall in the house, so nothing's perfect, but I know that that is an actual straight line that should be straight. So that's what I'm going to use base this vertical um, reading off of. And I think I just want to be at a, and it is kind of, I'm using a mouse, so it can be kind of hard to get it exactly where you want. I'm going to leave it at a one. Um, and then next is the horizontal. And that is for this photo what I'm really going to adjust because that is moves your right side. See that it moves the right side closer to you or it moves the left side closer to you. Um, and here, like I said, my left side of the photo was further away from me. So I'm going to adjust it until I feel like my lines are hitting all of the frames exactly correct. And you can see how they really are. On the right side here, you can tell they go really well right along the edge, and then right there at the left, they do as well. And then here on the pool table, that bottom line that I've got going on is nice and straight. Um, so just leave it there for a second. You really can check your lines. Look at um, here in the back, the back corner wall. That's nice and straight the way I've got it set. Um, so I think I feel like that's a lot more, a, a lot better with the straightness. Now what this does do that you have to pay attention to is here it adds this white. Well, that's going to have to now be cropped. 
which is fine. I have plenty of room around to crop it, so that's fine. I'll just pull it in right here to the edge. But that is something that you want to remember when you are taking photos that you need to leave that negative space. But that's not just for this tool. That's for so many things. You want to have negative space for options in printing, in cropping. If you do have to do any of these adjustments, you're going to have some of the photo where you're not cropping your people out if you have to make adjustments. Um, okay, to me, that looks good. I'm going to show you what these other uh, things here do. The rotate is very similar to the rotating tool in your crop. You can, um, you know, tip it to the right or the left. Um, I guess that was one thing I actually did have it uh level when I was taking the photo even though I was too far to the right. Um, the scale tool is going to bring the photo in closer to you or out further away from you which is very similar to cropping. You can definitely get the same effect with crop. Um, but the aspect is something else that you can change and you don't really ever want to change this drastically but it is something you can use if you say have a client, um, especially a single person, um, and they feel like they look a little bit heavy or a little bit short or that kind of thing. You can sort of stretch your photo. Um, coming over to the right, you're going to be smushing it in. Um, and then if you move your slider here to the left, you are going to be stretching them out. So you probably don't want to stretch people out, but there could be people who want you to just adjust in the slightest bit to squish them in a little bit. Um, I don't want to do that here with this photo, so I'm going to set it back to normal. But um, I wonder, let me see if the before and after here. This is going to show us the before and after from before I edited the photo entirely, which is fine. Um, but you can see here along this top area right here, and especially along here, how much further this left side looks away and how much better um, and more even it looks like I was in a better position to take the photo here in our um, ending photo. So that's how you use that effect. Um, I'm going to be over in the forum today if you have any questions or if you want to post a photo over there that you're having a hard time with. Um, a lot of times this tool is super useful if you took a photo like, um, say in your kitchen, if you were taking photos of, you know, food or something like that, and you have the squares of your tile on your countertop, and if you don't get your camera exactly centered and exactly correct when taking that photo, it can look um, really off with all the lines of your grout. So this is a perfect tool to fix that kind of photo. Um, so thank you very much. I hope that um, that helps you with something and I'll see you in our next